Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, unfortunately, Melbourne has once again been plunged into lockdown, and so there's pretty tight restrictions on what I'm able to actually do in my movements at the moment. But fortunately, I live quite close to a park where I know there's a group of one of my favorite Australian bird species, the Eastern Spinebill. I'm actually quite close to the middle of the CBD, so you may hear a lot of city noise in the background. I do apologize for that. Today, the weather in Melbourne is absolutely shocking again. It's very gray, windy, and wet. So it may hamper our efforts to find the birds, but we'll press on and see if we can get any. The birds are actually just behind me, a short little walk up the hill. So let's head off and see if we can find them. Okay, so I've reached the spot where there's quite a lot of spinebill activity and they're quite cool to see because they're actually feeding in the coria bushes, which is one of these plants just behind me here with the short yellow flowers. And the birds are coming in and they've got pollen all over their faces, which is brilliant to see and just demonstrates how important they are as pollinators. And some of you might be thinking, well, it's a bit weird. It's winter in Melbourne. Why is there flowering bushes? But it's actually quite common for Australian plants to flower during the colder months. Australian plants rely quite heavily on vertebrate pollinators, so things like birds, bats and possums. And during the winter months, there's less distractions for those pollinators, so there's not as many insects or other food items around. So it's really concentrating those pollinators into the bushes to make sure they are propagated properly. So it does have a little bit of a negative effect though, because it does concentrate a lot of birds into small areas. And so the spinebills, for example, are being bullied by a lot of bigger birds like wattle birds, New Holland honey eaters, and even white plumed honey eaters. So they're a bit fidgety and agitated because they're worried they're going to get dive bombed at any second. So just watching the birds, and I've talked about this in the past, um, in past videos, observing their behavior. They're feeding in the bushes for a couple of minutes, and then they're going and sitting on these sort of dead branches as posts or lookouts. And so when they're in the bush, it's really hard to get a clear shot of them because they're covered by flowers and shrub and you can't see them very well. So all I'm doing is plonking myself in a position where when they do pop up onto one of those sentinel branches, I have a really good clear view of them and a really nice clean background. So that's the strategy at the moment. We'll see how it goes, hopefully it pans out.
Well, I really hope you enjoyed seeing those birds. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all back on the channel very soon.